Yeah, I think we just got to keep on, um, you know, trying to play the way that we want to play and not let anyone, you know, take us out of that. Uh, whether if it's, you know, they're playing zone on defense, man on defense, um, or however they're playing offense. When you take a look at uh, this matchup this week, what is coach stressing? What is the coaching staff stressing? What do you see maybe on tape or in the X's and O's that you guys have to do well to limit them and be successful in what you do? Yeah, they're a good team. Uh, you know, they have a lot of talent. And so we just got to, you know, kind of like I just said, just, um, you know, play the way that we want to play. Um, you know, run the plays we want, get the plays we want, and uh, just make them uncomfortable on defense and uh, take them out of what they want to do. When you look at the matchups, I mean, you know, you're a big guy, Landon's a big guy, they've got a couple of veteran guys on the perimeter that can mm -hmm. shoot the three ball, you guys have that as well. Do you see a lot of similarities between you and them, and if so, how do you prepare to take on a team that does things similar to what mm -hmm. you do? Uh, yeah, like I said, they're a really good team and they got a lot of talent, um, and so, you know, we just got to, you know, I just keep going back to it, playing uh, how we want to play and doing what we want to do. When you take a look at this game, 365 days ago, we were talking about this same game. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a year in the making, um, and unfortunately, you got a, the opportunity taken away. Does that make you guys a little hungrier or, or maybe even more grateful for the opportunity that comes ahead to play at regionals now and, and hopefully make a run in the tournament? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say definitely more grateful. You know, like you said, uh, we were supposed to be playing at this time last year and to just have that opportunity again. Um, to get out and play, it's it's really exciting. And obviously, like I said, we're very grateful for the opportunity. You guys are still the defending state champs. People don't really think about that, mm -hmm. but it was because it was two years ago. It was the last time we crowned the two A state champion. So, do you feel like you go in with that target on your back, ranked number one, and kind of the, the team to beat? And if so, how do you guys handle that pressure of? of the magnifying glass. Yeah, um, I'd say we just kind of try to take it one day at a time and not really, you know, focus on, you know, what other teams might be saying or thinking, but we just got to focus on what we want to do um, and just continue to get better each and every day. And, uh, yeah. Final question. Um, obviously, you knew what Coach Davidson was dealing with at the beginning of the season with the kidney removed and now, um, unfortunately, cancer spread to the lungs. What is it like to, to see him on the sidelines still giving his all, making sure mm -hmm. that you guys are – prepared and, and you know really leading this team the way that he does in the fashion that he does considering all that he's going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah it's super cool to see uh, obviously we're all praying for him and everything but um, you know just to see the way that he not only handles you know the game of basketball but life in general uh, it's, it's very inspiring and it's um, you know just a great example for all of us. Um, basically just playing for one another I feel like this team we're really selfless and so we just no one is, cares about their own stats. They just want to see the team exceed. As far as X's and O's wise, what are the coaches and the coaching staff, what are they stressing this week to take on Bosco of what, what they do well and what you guys have to do well against them to be successful on Saturday? Um, really, they're just uh, stressing that we need to play uh, like we know how to play, and we need to play tough and hard and just compete for the whole 32 minutes of the game. When you look at Bosco, they have similar strengths to you guys. Big dominant post in the middle, veteran guys on the outside that can shoot threes, more than one. So when you're playing a team like yourself, how do you prepare to take on a team that matches up well with you and, and does kind of what you want to do? They want to get up and down the floor too. Um, we, look, we look forward to that matchup, and we look forward to our best players going against their best players and just um, – we know their strengths, so we scout them, uh, make sure our defensive schemes are ready for them, and that's basically it. You know, you guys are the defending state champs. You don't think about it because it was two years ago, but we didn't finish the tournament last year. But going in with that bullseye on your back, that target on your back, how do you guys handle the, the outside pressure and handle the expectations of uh, this Blackhawk team as the defending state champ? Yeah, uh, well, we just um, make sure we don't let that affect our play, and we just make sure we play 100%, 100% of the time and go as hard as we can because we know we have that target on our backs and we know everyone wants to beat us, and we just, we just have to play as hard as we can to make sure that doesn't happen. The final question, if there's one X factor or one uh, single thing that maybe could impact the game on Saturday, what do you think that is? Um... I think that would be uh, just whoever comes out with the most energy and whoever wants it more will really impact who wins this game. Anything else you'd like to add? I uh, know nope, that's it. You can carry over X's and O's wise, momentum wise into this coming Saturday's matchup. Yeah, I mean, at this time of year, it's, it's really about fine tuning details. And, uh, you know, we, we've been talking to these guys about details from day one. And uh, I think one of the advantages 
to having a group with a lot of experience like we have is those guys know kind of the expectation. They know the level of focus that's required of them, especially this time of year. And so uh, our seniors in, in particular have been really focused, and uh, we expect that to continue. When you look at Churubusco on paper, what are you stressing to these guys uh, in practice this week to get you ready for what they present? And what are your, some of your concerns as you get ready against a, you know, a good quality opponent? Yeah, I mean, they're a good basketball team. And, uh, of course, you know, everybody this time of year presents – uh, unique challenges for our team. For us, it always starts on the defensive end. And so, uh, you know, we've been talking about the, the type of focus that we need to have defensively, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll come out and be really ready to guard them. When you look at the matchups, they've got a dominant big guy. You've got a dominant big guy. You've got a couple of veteran three-point shooters on the outside. They have the same thing. They like to run up and down. You like to run up and down. When you're matched up against a team that does similar things as you, how do you go about preparing for somebody that's, to a certain degree, your mirror image. Yeah, I mean, I think that's part of the reason why we play the schedule that we do because we've seen a lot of teams like that this year who have an inside presence and also have good guard play. And so I think the, those are the types of teams we've played all year. And so, uh, you know, hopefully deal f defensively we'll be ready to answer the bell, and then uh, that translates to offense. What has it meant to, to see all the, the support that you've personally gotten from the area? I know... I saw before the Wayne Newhaven game the stuff with the sneakers and the picture and everything. Just gestures like that, what does that mean to you? Well, it's just, it's been amazing, you know, the, uh, the outpouring of love and support that, uh, that my family has, has felt and experienced. And, uh, you know, it's a very humbling thing, but uh, obviously it, it helps, you know, when, when you're in a fight to know that you got people in your corner, I, I think that makes a big difference. What, what's like a typical week like for you in regard to that? Um, well, I just had a, a biopsy on Monday, so we're still waiting for the results from that. I have a virtual appointment tomorrow where we should get the results. Um, they're starting me on a, uh, a chemotherapy pill uh, starting hopefully today. It's supposed to arrive at my house today. Uh, minimal side effects to the medication. And so, uh, you know, we're just, we're just praying that this medication takes effect and uh, is, is able to combat the, the tumors. How much of a relief is it, though, to come out and and coach these guys and see these guys and maybe get your mind off something like that? And how much does it help you to have something like this? Yeah, it absolutely does. And, uh, you know, Blackhawk Christian is, is like a big family. And uh, it's been that way for us from day one when we got here eight years ago. And uh, they've just welcomed us with open arms. And, and uh, the basketball program in particular, we really have a family atmosphere. And so, uh, you know, the, the basketball court has always been kind of a, a uh, refuge um, and just an opportunity to come out here and, uh, and put some other stuff to the side, even if it's just for a couple of hours. And so, uh, you know, the support of the guys on our team has just been fantastic. And then getting a little bit back into the basketball side of things, this is where everything stopped last year. How, how good does it feel to get back to this point and be able to kind of continue where you left off, where it, it doesn't just have that sense of unfinished business? Yeah, it, it's kind of a surreal feeling. I mean, to, to imagine that was a year ago that we – we were sitting here and, uh, you know, waiting for regionals on Saturday when they pulled the plug. And so, uh, obviously, it's very rewarding to, to have the opportunity on Saturday. I and mean, I think our guys are, are ready to just embrace that opportunity and make the most of it.